Welcome to another exciting episode of Bitcoin Stuff. This episode is on how to restore harmony to Bitcoin. So I've had a bit of a change in tune. As my earlier videos were all fire and brimstone, uh, but this one is on how to restore harmony. And it's going to be a little more um, rational than my previous videos. But don't worry, you can expect more crazy videos in the future too. So uh, my change of perspective happened as a result of going to the Hackers Congress that I went to recently because I got to have lots of discussions with people and I learned about what other people are thinking. Uh, so that was great. I'm going to tell you about that, but first I'm going to do a highlight from the Hacker Congress. My highlight is when Jim Bell was talking about his invention, uh, the assassination market, and he said, I'm just going to call those governments up and ask them, hey, what do you think about how my new invention pretty much ruins your whole operation? Huh? <laughs> Very inspiring, Jim Bell. So one of the people that I got to meet at the Hacker Congress was Adam Back. And wow, what a great guy. I mean, he could be the most manipulative person ever because he sure knows how to make me like him right away. Uh, now, when I started listening to him talk, he wanted to talk to me, and he recognized me. So I was like, wow. <laughs> um, and we had a brief discussion, but it was about the perfect conversation. It was about the best possible conversation that I could imagine. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, and I don't think there's anything wrong with me talking to you about it because... Um, this happened in the main room of the conference, and uh, people were listening, so I don't think that it was private or anything. Well, first he told me that he was uh, worried about Jihan Wu, the miner, manipulating the market. And he said he was worried that Jihan Wu has a vision for Bitcoin, uh, where Bitcoin is a payment system that competes with Visa as opposed to a means of evading capital controls and inflation. So, um, well, first of all, uh, market manipulation. Uh, this guy is worried about monsters under the bed. <laughs> market manipulation? The things these guys worry about. I mean, that's the problem when you're wedded to one chain and you're not diversified like me, is you have to worry about nonsense like that. Now, so my response is, let me worry about the market manipulation so that you don't have to. Uh, and second, um, uh, vision for Bitcoin. Okay, the vision for Bitcoin that matters is whatever produces the most value. Okay, so uh, you know I I don't know what Jihan's vision really is, but uh, where where is there more value to be realized? Is it in competing with Visa or is it in evading capital controls and inflation? It really seems like people need to evade capital controls and inflation more than they need something better than Visa because Visa already works really well. So, I mean, if, if that really is his vision, uh, you know, just, just, uh, just say yes, sir, and take his money. And eventually he will learn that when he promotes a, uh, an irrational vision, he loses money. So, I don't see a real problem there. And then uh, Adam Back said that uh, he was concerned about Bitcoin losing momentum because uh, the developers were going to have to spend a lot of time building an infrastructure for hard forks that don't implement replay protection rather than what they wanted to build. Okay, so. He's saying he's behind schedule because he has to build something that, that he wasn't intending to. So um, I know that he was complaining to me, but inwardly I was thinking, wow, <laughs> he's building exactly what I want. And I was thinking about a, um, a tweet that he sent me a while back that I showed you where he said he didn't have time to, uh, to, uh, to build what I want. But now it looks like he's found time. So that's perfect. And now, you know, when we have an infrastructure in place for hard forks that don't implement replay protection, 
I know that the result is going to be a more investor-controlled Bitcoin because it's going to be easier to present uh, ideas to investors. And it is also going to be more necessary to think about what investors are going to do. So we've got a more investor-controlled Bitcoin and uh, Adam Back is building it. But he's, he is learning that investors are the rulers because he is having to build what I want instead of what he wants. And that is perfect. That, that's pretty much the best thing that a developer could say to me is, is I'm building, I disagree with what you want me to build, but I am building it anyway because that's what the investors want. So perfect. By the way, if he doesn't like me uh, relating this stuff, um, well, you got to learn to play poker better. I mean, I want us to have a good relationship, but, you know, you, you left stuff around for me to see that was just too good. You know, I'm primarily loyal to uh, the, uh, the investors of Bitcoin. And if you're looking worried, uh, pretty sure that's something they would want to know about. So next time, next time, be a better poker player if you don't want me to know that you're worried, okay? Now, um, if you want me to keep secrets for you, you have to do a lot more to convince me that you're on my side, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about long-term versus short-term because this is something I heard a few times at the conference is that investors have a short-term perspective, but the developers have a long-term perspective. Bullshit. I am a long-term thinker. I am thinking beyond the current dynasty of Bitcoin, and I'm saying I can work with anybody, and I'm going to, I'm going to insist on having things my way eventually. Okay? So I am a long-term thinker. Remember, my hero is Tom Bombadil. So... He's the oldest person, and he says, uh, it's okay if the orcs win uh, for a while. Um, I'm not wedded to one chain the way that Adam Back currently is. That enables me to think a lot further out. So I am the long-term thinker here. Adam Back is the short-term thinker. And what is he worried about? He's worried about a current power struggle in Bitcoin that I am not involved in, uh, and he is worried about Bitcoin losing momentum in the short term. So developers are short-term thinkers. I am a long-term thinker. Uh, my overall impression of Adam Back, um, I am not a great reader of people, but, you know, uh, all, all I did was... Um, make some uh, satirical videos where I pretended to be God and he showed me fear. Uh, so to me, that looks like someone who uh, is ready to capitulate. And that's what changed m my tune. That's why I want to change because now I want to talk victory terms and I want to make sure that Adam Back will be good if he does what I want. Okay, so right now, Adam Back is worried, but if he does what I want, then he doesn't have to be worried. So before I was using the Iron Fist, now it's time to use the Velvet Glove. Okay, so first here's some, uh, here's some basic things that I think we can all agree on. Uh, the first one is, ultimately, everything that happens around here is about developing the biggest market cap for Bitcoin. Okay, So if you don't want to do that, then you just end up on a less valuable branch of Bitcoin. So you become unimportant. So ultimately, it's about the biggest market cap as a fraction of the world economy. Okay, And if you're trying to promote a vision that doesn't create the biggest market cap, you just lose. Um, so second, investors say what the market cap is. Okay, So investors determine the success of Bitcoin. They are the ones who determine whether Bitcoin is successful. So finally, 
We need to know what investors want in order to know what to build. Because otherwise, we're wasting our time. Okay, so the reason there was disharmony in Bitcoin before is that the developers were acting like leaders and they weren't thinking about what the investors were going to do. Okay, so they're not very good at being leaders. If uh, we make our decisions in the market, then we have harmony because uh, everybody wants to make money and if one side of a conflict realizes that they don't have enough, uh, there, there isn't enough uh, value behind their idea, then they have to back down. Okay, so in the market we develop a consensus, but if the invest, if the developers try to act like leaders, then we don't develop a consensus. Okay, so here are my victory terms. One, rule changes are decided by investment action. And two, developers support what investors decide. I think that those are very reasonable. And if Adam Back agrees to them, then he is definitely on my side. And I think he should be on everybody's side. If he does that, then he is everybody's friend. What do you think about that, guys? I think that that's a very good idea. So I hope you go along with me on it. And uh, once once we do things my way, then we'll have harmony again. Because um, we will know what to build. And um, we know that conflicts will be resolved. And uh, everything will be a lot less scary.